guys, this is going to be a really quick tutorial about the Pioneer DDJSX and using it as a MIDI controller to make music inside FL Studio. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of video with DJs using it to, you know, as a DJ controller and, you know, that's great and all, but I haven't seen a single video out there and I looked, um, you know, to use it to make music, to make beats, um, as a MIDI controller for, you know, what have you. So. Uh, the pads using it as a MIDI controller, they are really responsive. Uh, one of the things that I was disappointed about was the jog wheels. And, you know, you can use it to scratch as a controller, but in the MIDI world, it doesn't necessarily function that way. Um, and the eight pads on each side, they are, you know, the same on both sides. So if you hit the eight pads on one side, you're essentially hitting the pads on the other side. Which kind of sucks, but it is good in the sense if you needed to do like a roll or something like that, you could use both pads and really do things really fast in real time. Um, so here's a quick sample of me using that as a controller, and you know, let me know what you guys think. So as you can see, this is a really good controller for doing, you know, making music in. And it's a really good option to have. You know, I'm really proud of Pioneer and what they did with this. You're able to, you know, do rolls and stuff, really get into your music. The pads are sensitive. They're a lot of fun. Um, you know, I did a little bit of MIDI mapping. I mapped the faders to a couple mics inside FL Studio so I can control some of the mixer settings. So it really eliminated my other need to have some other you know controller like normally I have the nano control set up to do that so I got rid of the nano control and I can use just my DDJSX and use that USB input for something else uh, and it really just freed up a little bit of space and a couple options another thing that I was disappointed in was recording audio from the DDJSX into the computer I really thought it would be better but again you know this could be a user error on my end and I will try it again and maybe post another video doing it but I really had a hard time getting the audio into the computer through the DDJSX you know it came off kinda of muddy digital glitchy um, but again it was probably one of my computer settings because I was having a lot of problems with the um, you know trying to get things recorded in that day so most likely my ignorance but that's something that I want to mention. Maybe I'll explore it a little bit later. I do have an M Audio interface, which I'm actually using to record this tutorial right now. So I primarily use that for audio. But, you know, the DDJXX, I wanted to just see if I can do it. So I think there's a way to do it, but I think my computer is just not that good for that. I'm running a lot of mini software. I've got keyboard, I got the DDJXX, I got the M Audio interface, and I had the nano control hooked up. So you know, FL Studio is already CPU intensive. Intensive, I and mean, if you start hooking up all those mini controllers, you're gonna have problems. But you know, if you can pull it off, it makes it for a really sweet setup, and it makes making music easy. You can do everything in real time. You don't have to stop thinking about it. You take your hands off the mic, and you just get a feel for making beats right there on the spot. So, you know, the DDG SX, I mapped it to my FS. FPC controller, which is essentially in the uh, FL Studio world, that's like using an MP, uh, MPC controller. So for that purpose, you know, it was a lot of fun. If you guys are having trouble with mapping that, I can do that in another video. But this, I just wanted to be a real quick video, real quick tutorial on the DDJSX and using it as a MIDI controller. So I'll do another video down the road with uh, going more in depth into it, but I really just want to scratch the surface and give you guys a little bit of taste of that. So um, hit me up, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know and practice and enjoy.